Hey everybody, welcome back to another movement and to my desk setup video because I like watching those videos, so I thought I'd make one. Let's get into it. Quick public service announcement. Everything in this video is linked in the description below. Now let's get into it. Now the centerpiece of this setup is without a doubt the 2020 5K iMac. I absolutely adore this thing. It's featuring a beast of a 10 core processor, 64 gigs of RAM, terabyte SSD, and eight gigs of stock graphics card. Now this thing has become the centerpiece of my music production and film scoring workflow. It has saved me countless hours and thus it's worth the investment for me to buy this computer. For the peripherals, I use the Apple Keyboard 2. Absolutely love this thing. I have zero complaints about it. I also use the Apple Magic Trackpad 2. Absolutely love this thing. Saves so many hours being able to scroll through timelines and piano rolls. I also have this ancient 10 year old $5 Logitech mouse that just won't die. And so I can't really justify buying another mouse. When I'm not using the incredible speakers on the iMac, and I do mean incredible, I'm using the Audio-Technica M40Xs. Now these are designed to be studio headphones, so they try to give as accurate a representation of the audio file as possible, as opposed to something like Beats or something like that, which tends to boost the bass, so I use these for mixing and mastering my scores. Speaking of scores, the way I write them is by using this M-Audio Keystation 49 MIDI keyboard, Love it, no problems, but I am looking to upgrade to a full scale keyboard. Attached to the computer at all times is this Western Digital 1TB drive. It holds a lot of audio files, but I'm hoping to get a SSD for speed. And then on the desk is a graduation present I got after high school. This is a iPad Air 2, I believe. No problems with it, use it for absolutely everything. The main use I have for it now is for using the Logic Remote. It's so handy for doing EQing and adjusting levels. And then that iPad is actually resting on top of a Anchor Bluetooth speaker that I got for Christmas, I don't know how many years ago. There's also some AirPods there in the remote for the LEDs. Now this LED strip is a stupid cheap $15 strip from Walmart, no complaints there. Beside the computer is the Anchor wireless charging hub for my iPhone that I'm currently filming on. And then there's also a USB hub that I literally could not get through a day without. You might have noticed a desk beside the desk, and this is where I keep my 2014 refurbished MacBook Pro. I love this thing, no problems with it. Still runs like a champ and handles all the schoolwork and even some small scale audio work I can throw at it. And also it's pretty sentimental at this point because it's basically a scrapbook, so it stays until it's fried. The reason why I have this second desk is because it's a great space to do a lot of analog work. So if I'm proofreading a paper, I like to print those off and mark them up. So it's great to go here to have kind of a, a second space. Now below that desk is a printer. It's the HP OfficeJet 3830. As you can see, it's a bit scuffed up, works great. And then beside that is a bunch of books that I use for school every single day. And then that printer is resting on top of these cheap crates you can get from Walmart, has all the books that I still use from undergrad, and then a absolutely useless Xbox 360 that I've not turned on since I moved. Then on top of the useless Xbox is a poster from my senior recital, Wonder, that I'm hopefully gonna make an album out of this coming semester. And then with all the music stuff, I have this cheap guitar I bought from Facebook Marketplace for about 50 bucks. It's just great to relax on. I use it to record sometimes too. It's just a great little guitar. And then on the opposite end of the room, I have my cello Tobin. I use this to record a lot of music for other composers and to relax as well. And then the pride and joy of my setup is this Baldwin spinet piano, which is really out of tune. But I am so thankful that my parents gifted me this when I moved out. Many a song have been written on it, and I hope that many a hit film score will also be written on this piano as well.
there you guys go. There is the desk setup. I tried to give you guys as accurate of a depiction as I could. So everything had dust in it. The trash can had trash in it. The only thing I cleaned was the iPad because the fingerprints on it looked absolutely disgusting. Again, if you want to check any of these products out, they are all linked below. If you use those links, it helps out the channel a bit. So go ahead and check those out if you want to buy any of these things. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.